If you would ask people on the street what the energy source of the future is, you probably would get a lot of different answers. Some would say solar energy is of course the future, while some others would say that wind energy in combination with solar would be the way to go. Then others would say that some energy mix where everything is included is the way to go, which also would encompass nuclear energy and maybe also natural gas. Fossil fuels are of course not sustainable, so almost everybody except for some die-hard fossils agree that this probably isn't the way to go. And then some say that fusion energy is most likely the breakthrough energy source of the future, which might potentially allow us to generate an extremely high amount of energy, thus solving humanity's energy needs for all time. But what if I told you that there is another form of energy creation, which might allow us to solve our energy needs for the next 100 years? <laughs> As people fascinated by technology often tend to think that the solution of the growing energy needs of humanity must be some very futuristic form of energy creation. Fusion energy is of course the most obvious such technology which always seems to be 20 years away and which many companies around the world but also international collaborations are striving to achieve. But what if I told you that nuclear fission energy generation still has a lot more to offer than many would like to believe. Currently, there are about 420 nuclear reactors online worldwide, producing about 2,445 terawatt hours of electricity in 2022, which corresponds to 10% of the total electricity consumption of humanity. But we can see that while Western Europe is stagnating with regards to nuclear power, all others, notably Eastern Europe, North America and especially Asia, are actually building new nuclear reactors like crazy. Of course, how else could it be? China is leading the way and is expected to actually overtake the US regarding nuclear power output by 2030. Many countries around the globe are realizing that despite some drawbacks, nuclear energy still might have a lot of potential. Especially since new technological developments will enable us to build far more efficient and safer reactors than ever before. Meaning having the pros of nuclear energy without the cons. In fact, currently there are 60 nuclear power plants worldwide under construction, with an additional 110 power plants in planning stages. Most of them are located in Asia. Even with some of the older plants shutting down, this means that there will be a big net increase in nuclear power generated in the coming decades. Now sure, yes, nuclear energy still has some problems and it is clear that nuclear waste still remains a very big problem. And safety is, as Chernobyl and Fukushima and some other incidents have shown, still very much a concern. However, the next generation of nuclear power plants will actually overcome these problems. What if I told you that the next generation of nuclear reactors, so-called molten salt reactors, are actually so safe that they basically cannot explode in a catastrophic fashion like the standard old water-cooled reactors can? We made a video about molten salt reactors in which I explained the various advantages which such a type of reactor might offer. But there are also other types of nuclear reactors currently under development. A type of reactor called a nuclear fast reactor or sometimes also fast neutron reactor would have the incredible advantage to use nuclear waste from regular uranium-235 reactors so the mainstream reactors that we all know, as an energy source. Yes, you've heard that correctly. A nuclear fast reactor uses leftover nuclear waste from the old reactor type as an energy source and allows to convert that nuclear waste into electricity 
and the resulting waste of the fast reactor contains only isotopes that have a quite short half-life, meaning that these materials decay very fast within a time frame of only a few hundred years compared to hundreds, thus eliminating the problem of finding a safe storage cavern for a few hundred thousand years as currently still is the case. Unfortunately, the anti-nuclear movement completely defunded any meaningful research into this type of reactor, even though the technology had already been known since the 60s. In fact, if all nuclear waste in the United States would be turned into an energy source for nuclear fast reactors, the entire country could be powered for a hundred years. No wonder then that some startups such as Nucleo, Oclo or TerraPower have been created in order to build such types of reactors. Because they really have the potential to solve the drawbacks of current day standard light water based reactors and replace it with a new, better, more efficient technology that would allow us to not only build much safer reactors but also to solve the nuclear waste problem, while also solving all the energy needs of humanity. And as if molten salt reactors and fast neutron reactors weren't enough, you can actually make nuclear energy even more efficient, namely by building small modular reactors. This smaller type of reactor has some pretty great benefits over the regular large conventional reactor Namely, it's much faster to build since it is physically just a fraction of the size of a regular reactor. Then you can pre-build the parts like large Lego blocks, allowing you to transport the parts fast and assemble or even disassemble them in an easy fashion, giving you a very high flexibility to use them wherever needed. Then they also need much less nuclear fuel. They would only need to be refueled once every three to seven years as compared to the standard reactors which need to be refueled once a year or once every two years while still producing a relatively high amount of electricity. There are even small modular nuclear reactor designs which would need to be refilled only once every 30 years. So therefore the amount of nuclear waste generated would be a lot lower as well. The main benefit of nuclear power is that the electricity generated is very constant meaning you don't have the strong fluctuations that wind or solar often have, allowing for a very stable electricity grid. And of course, it's carbon neutral, meaning no CO2 is generated in the nuclear fission process. So taking this all together, small modular reactors, molten salt reactors and fast neutron reactors, I think that nuclear energy is far from dead. And we're actually going to see a massive renaissance if nuclear fusion won't be available in time. Which, let's be real here, probably it won't. Of course, if nuclear fusion by some miracle suddenly becomes available through a technological breakthrough, then let's just forget about nuclear fission reactors, okay? However, if that doesn't happen, then I think that nuclear energy still has a lot more room to grow thanks to new technological developments which will allow us to get rid of nuclear waste, produce much less harmful and far less nuclear waste and at the same time be much safer than current reactors and produce carbon-free steady electricity. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe since we'll continue putting out lots of videos on interesting technological developments. And please consider supporting us on Patreon or via a YouTube membership, because this would allow us to make more and even better videos. Thank you so much for watching, all the best wherever you are, and see you next time. Bye. But what if I told you that good... Uh -huh. But what if I told you that nuclear fission which might allow us to solve our energy needs, which, in which I explained the various advantages that this type of... In, hmm? We made a video about molten 
work here maybe no i will i will delete that part that is too offensive i will delete the whole section 